In this problem, we have a couple passengers moving and changing positions. So what we'll start out with, um, for weight and balance, I always go ahead and write down the wham weight times arm equals moment. So we'll start out with the aircraft um, where it starts at. So we can see the airplane weighed 2,690 pounds and the moment divided by 100, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down, so I don't forget that it's divided by 100, was 2260. So then what we have is we have a rear, uh, upon landing, a front seat passenger, 180 pounds, departs the airplane. So we're going to have 180 pounds, and and that is a front seat passenger. So now we're going to find the arm. Front seat arm is 85. Front seat passenger arm, 85. And then a rear seat passenger, 204 pounds. So moves to the front. So the 204 pound passenger leaves the rear seat position at 121 and moves. So we're going to, to subtract the 204 pounds from station 121, and we're going to add it back to station at the front seat, which is the 85 location. What effect does this have? So what, what you'll notice here is that for the aircraft, we have weight and moment, but for the passenger transfer, we have weight and arm. So we have two choices here. We can either figure out what the arm is, the center of gravity for the aircraft, and if we do that, we can use the weight and arm function because we'll have all the weights and all the arms for everything for each item. Or if we wanted to use the moment, we would have to look up the moment for each of these three we have here. So right now we have all but one arm station that we are needing. Or we can go through and we can look up each weight. So we can say front seat passenger, we can find 180. Here's the moment. So we can look up each moment and work the problem that way also. But since we only need one center of gravity, for the weight and arm function, I'm going to go ahead and use that. So in order to get to weight and arm, we can see that I'm going to go ahead and start with weight and moment to get the arm. So weight and balance, weight and moment, and we have the weight of the aircraft, 2690. Then we have the moment. 2260, and that's going to give us the center of gravity of 0.84. And remember, the moment is divided by 100, so the center of gravity here is going to be 84, so 0.84 times 100. So now we have all of the arms and all the weights that we need in order to use the weight arm function. So just kind of to, to recap, we used the weight and moment. So when we had just weight and moment, we were able to use the weight and moment function to get the arm for the empty aircraft. Now that we have all the arm and weights, we can use the weight and arm information. So the aircraft, 2,690 pounds. Center of gravity, arm that we just calculated is 84. Reduction factor 1, enter, enter again. Now we can say 180 pounds was reduced, so negative, enter, from station 85. Enter. And then we can say 204 pounds, 204, was removed, negative, from station, the rear seat, 121, enter, 
and then 204, that same person was added positive to station 85. And that's going to give us a new center of gravity of 81. So what we had is we had a center of gravity of 84 moved to a center of gravity of 81. So we saw a change of about 3 inches. So what impact did it have for one person to leave the front seat and then for the rear seat person to move to the front seat is it changed the center of gravity by three inches. 